got it. Put that silver we acquired to good use, you lazy goat herders. I wondered if you were going to return, Harrier. The worms and ghosts wouldn't stop whispering to me, talking about dark doings and stirring evil. But they were deadly silent about you. Did you catch up to Lady Belaine? The Dark Heart, you say? There's a tale as old as the Ridge with an evil heart at its center. Like most Ridge stories, it ends bloody. Belaine might have slipped your net, but we know what she's on about. Thanks to you, this hunt isn't over yet. The story of the Dark Heart. The Ghost Song Clan knows it well. My clan. Once. I need to speak with my sister, Nathari. She studied the old secrets. Knows about prophecies both ill and fair. If anyone can glean the mind of Lady Belaine, it's her. Traditions passed down from our foremothers. Like the story of the prophecy of the Dark Heart. It deals with souls, shadows, endings. I know the core of it, but Nathari understands the nuances. Unfortunately, we haven't spoken in a long, long time. An outsider? Not likely. We need someone to intercede on our behalf. We need Brayden. He's a friend, and he holds the respect of the clan. If he vouches for you, Nathari might talk to you. He often visits Rolden Ring to trade news. Meet me there. Braden can speak to the mood of the Ghost Song clan. Tell him what you told me. I'm sure he'll help us get a meeting with my sister. He's a werewolf, mind you, but I've never had a truer friend. Look for him at Roldan Ring. I'll meet you there. Roldan Ring is an ancient site southeast of here. It's neutral ground, a place where all clans of the Ridge can gather to trade and share stories. Braden visits the place a lot. He loves to chatter with other clans. Years ago, we argued about what the Spirit Queen's teachings meant for our clan. Nathari believes that we're meant to return to the old ways, the dark ways, to seek Namira's favor. I believe those days are better left behind us. More like the clan left me. My sister turned them against me. As the days grew darker, the Ghost Song Witches found it easier to see things her way than mine. Regardless, my people will always be my people. The Spirit Queen often speaks to the witches of my clan, my former clan. Oh, we honor all the spirits of the Reach, but the Spirit Queen herself chose our foremothers to be the keepers of dark and powerful secrets. You know her as Namira, and yes, she is a spirit of death. Your soft priests and their stone houses see her as a fearsome specter, fools that they are. Reach folk know the Spirit Queen as a guide. She watches over us when we take that final journey. And your friend is a vampire. Werewolves are her scenes chosen. Many of the Reach's greatest champions are skin changers. Raiden and the other werewolves are nothing like those Grey Host Ravagers. They're the clan's loyal protectors. Oh! <laughs> 
Raiden, what news of the Ghost Song clan? Your sister led the clan to Lost Valley. I was about to join Come, them. Eagle Seers, Who's six the outsider? Wolves. Have you no words An ally to share? against the Grey Host. I'll let them tell you themselves. An outsider walking alongside the great and powerful Arana. That's not a sight I thought I'd see today. And she says you're an ally. Tell me, outsider, why do you care what happens to the Reach? An outsider come to fight outsiders. I wish you hadn't brought your war here in the first place. Speaking with Nathari is going to be difficult, even if she would agree to such a meeting. She's taken the clan to Lost Valley Redoubt. That's just what the Reach folk call it. It isn't actually lost. We know exactly where it is. It's a sacred place from a darker time. Nathari said the time had come to return to Lost Valley. Promised the clan a great revelation. I'm not sure, but I'm no witch. Some of our rituals aren't meant to be shared with outsiders, I'll tell you that much. Still, if Arana says it's important for you to speak to her sister, I believe her. I'll vouch for you, outsider. As I said, the place is sacred to us. The Nords built a great barrow there, but long before that, Lost Valley was a place dedicated to dark worship. Not all Reach Folk practices involve blood and sacrifice, but many of our oldest traditions do. Lost Valley was a centre for such activity once upon a time. Oh, don't worry. You're helping Arana. I won't offer your heart to Namira. Not today. Yes. We grew up together in the Ghost Song clan. I was furious when the clan banished her. I almost followed, but I couldn't. The clan needs my protection, especially now against the Grey Host. I'm off to Lost Valley. If you want to find your sister, that's where she'll be. Why Lost Valley, Nathari? What are you planning, my sister? Greyhost staff has been clogged to pieces. Braden's work, I presume. But why are these monsters here in the first place? Braden must have gotten here ahead of us. 
I'd recognize his handiwork anywhere. It seems that the redoubt is overrun with Greyhost troops. We'll need to get past them to reach the old ritual site. The Nords built their barrow over the caves that were once used by my ancestors. The Spirit Queen led the first Ghost Song Matron to a spot deep beneath the redoubt. I think that's where Nathari has taken the clan. They haven't. My mother had the entrance to the barrow concealed when I was a young girl. No one has used it since before I was born. I always knew those old stories interested my sister. But I never expected her to lead the clan down there. Nathari is younger than me, but way too sure of herself. When I was the clan's matron, I tried to mentor her. But she follows her own heart. Witches can be a stubborn lot. Only wish she heard others as well as she thinks she hears the Spirit Queen. Doesn't matter what I think, it's what Nathari believes she hears. What she sees in every sign important. From what Brayden said, she thinks it's time to return to the old ways. Blood sacrifice and dark magic. I wanted nothing to do with that. Nathari wanted to be Matron, and the clan. They were ready to choose her over me. I wanted to forge new traditions, but she promised them Namira's blessing if they heeded the old ways. Fear and superstition are powerful motivators. A werewolf killed this vampire, and it wasn't one of those grey host mongrels. Graydon would have easily beaten us here, and I know his preferred method for delivering a quick kill. I imagine we might see more of his handiwork inside the redoubt. Understand. It's like the Grey Host is guarding this place. Doesn't look like the Grey Host attacked my clan. At least not yet. We need to find them. the Grey Host command camp up ahead. Let's see what they're doing here. Say what you can find.
Greyhost Scratchins. What does it say? Well, do those scratchings on paper tell you anything about what the Grey Host is doing in Lost Valley Redoubt? I never should have let Nathari push me aside. She was always drawn to darkness, even as a girl. Lady Belaine must have found her eager to believe the right lies. Does that letter say what Belaine hopes to gain from my sister's foolishness? The Dark Heart again. According to the prophecy, death awakens the Dark Heart. By the spirits. What evil has Belaine convinced my sister to perform? We need to find Nathari and stop her before something terrible takes place. A stranger visited the clan when I was young. She asked about the old lore. She wore a smile, but I saw darkness in her eyes. Years later, when I saw her beside the Ard's throne, I recognized her. Lady Belaine. And she hadn't aged a day. Aye, but my mother spoke in generalities. Lady Belaine spent a lot of time with my aunt, though. She was one who saw every word of the prophecy as literal truth. In fact, she taught Nathari her lore. No wonder Lady Belaine sought out my sister. The full telling requires hours. We don't have time for that, so I'll be brief. An ancient darkness slips beneath the reach. At the end of days it will awaken, covering the land in shadow and devouring all. Only Namira's faithful will be spared. Yes, but ghost song witches have argued about the nature of the heart for generations. Some believe the prophecy is symbolic. There's darkness in every mortal heart. That's my view. Others believe the prophecy is meant to be taken literally. That the Dark Heart exists. Death feeds it, and only sacrifice will awaken it to share its power with those that believe. Dark illusions like that. Nathari believes the prophecy speaks a literal truth. Maybe she's right, but it's still wrong. We're going the right way. The entrance is farther up. Keep going. We're almost to the summit. The borrow entrance is just ahead. should be here somewhere. Look around. Ah, you found the rock. That's actually the door, but it will only open for a ghost song witch. Well, look at that. I've still got it. Now let's enter the barrel and find my sister. Magic. Rising all around us. 
Hathori must have started the ritual. Perpetual sacrifices. Nathari wants the clan to return to the old ways. These dead are ancient. Clearly not my sister's doing. In the past, Ghost Song witches made blood sacrifices to the Spirit Queen and the Lord of the Hunt in rooms such as this. My foremothers believed that death pleased our gods. Nathari still holds that view. My foremothers believed the Spirit Queen granted them power in exchange for the souls they sent to her realm. A death is the greatest gift a mortal can give, after all. This was where the clan performed ritual sacrifices to appease Namira. Aye, that seems to be where all this is laid in. To awaken the Dark Heart, my coven must sacrifice that which they hold most dear. Their own kin. Many Gosong clan members are about to die. That's why Nathari brought them here. We must stop her. I can't believe she actually did it. Nathari sacrificed this ghost song hunter. is upon us, dear sister. You must feel it. The darkness. You sacrificed our own people. Oh, poor Sagan. I should have expected Arana to take up with outsiders. She always rejected the old ways. This is no place for one who doesn't hear the spirits of the Reach. You're not worthy to walk these sacred halls. And every one of them gave up their life willingly. They gladly died to awaken the Dark Heart from its slumber. Arana may deny it, but this is the day Namira has been preparing us for. We give our souls to the Dark in return for eternal life. You sound like Braden. True believers see the honor in this sacrifice. But not everyone can overcome the fear that whispers in their ears. The flesh quails even when the spirit is strong. No matter. We help them complete their journey. Why does this matter to you, outsider? The ghost song hunters, the true hunters, gather below, ready to give their lives for the spirit queen. Braden will too, when his time comes. I shall complete the ritual, and awaken the Dark Heart. The clan chose me, Arana. The Spirit Queen demands death, and I shall give it to her. Damn it. I should never have left. No. I can't allow this. We need to find Brayden and the others. This is horrible. Nathari has convinced herself that she's doing the will of the Spirit Queen. And she persuaded at least some of the clan to go along with this madness. We have to find a way to stop her. 
Aye. That seems to be the long and short of it. The Dark Heart will beat again, and its power will surge up from the deep places to consume everything. Its darkness will cover the world. The prophecy talks of death and destruction, but it also says that those who embrace it will be spared. There's power in the darkness, especially for those who believe and hold true to its word. Now let's go try to save my clan from this madness. The old matron has mentioned a ritual here, deeper than the body. It must be this way. Ghost Song Hunters loyal to Nathari. Surely some must have opposed her. This is madness! Nathari will bring ruin upon the entire clan! Senan. Not you too, old friend. What's that beside him? What do those scratch marks tell you? Not many of my clan learned the scratchings, but Senan could read and write the Imperial language. He spent years in Morakar's Imperial Guard. What did he write down? As we've seen, Nathari has convinced some of the clan to support this mad endeavor. This is Lady Belaine's doing. Spirits take that woman. She's laughing far from here and safe while Nathari does exactly what she wants. I... I remember that from the stories. A cavern where the floor drops into darkness. That's where the first Ghost Song Witch made a bargain with the Spirit Queen. Legend says the pit divides the land of the living from the dead. Let's keep moving. <laughs> 